Cooking the Food Podcast. It's the hood chef, big homie. I'm here with my partner, my dog, real friend, real brother like no other big coop. I'm also here with the lovely entrepreneur, sweet but dangerous <laughs> guy. How y'all doing today? Right, y'all good? good? How y'all day been so far? No complaints. Great. No complaints. Okay, okay. All right. What y'all drinking on? The lovely Donna Neho. Okay, Donna. Fuck with your boy. <laughs> I got the American honey lemonade. Oh, that sounds real risky. Yeah. <laughs> I like that though. So talk to me. What's going on? Good people. Good people. What's going on? Can't call it, man. Chilling. Really got up this day. Man, just was. I was uh putting some Christmas lights up for the kids. Okay, okay. Big fella love yeah. kids. Yeah. I do too. I ain't got no, but I love them. Anything for the kids. I'm sorry. Go ahead, sweetheart. This floor is yours, baby. Nothing is up. Same old. Same old, same old. What's the same old, same old? Tell me about your credit business. So, I'm currently um, repairing credit. Um... Critique Consulting. The business is going very good. Okay. Um, yeah, so if y'all need my credit fix, hit me up. Where can they reach out to you at? Critique Consulting on Instagram as well as Facebook. And the link is in my bio. Boom, so now your credit is motherfucking 200. I'm gonna need you to go holler at her so she can get your shit together. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So, I got a question. In a relationship situation bond, whatever it is, what is a deal breaker? You want me to start? You, you talking about before the relationship or you talking no, about? No, just in end? that understanding. Um I'm big on loyalty, you know what I'm saying? Um I just feel like we should match the same energy and the loyalty, you know, and it as long as it's matching, you know what I'm saying? That if the if the loyalty ain't matching, is it's a deal breaker. You know. Once that loyalty is, is is crossed, you know, it ain't it ain't it ain't fun for me no more. <laughs> I understand. It's not fun no more. Nah. You're it calling it quits. Um it's gonna make me feel a certain way. You know. And uh, you know, you can you can play ball as long as you can to try to see I'm the type of person I, I hold things in so and it's not good but um, you try to let things play out and see what is what the outcome is going to be and sometimes some people they just they'll show you again they'll strike their loyalty again and it's just like you know what to do I understand that for me is don't lie to me about mm -hmm. anything. I can accept anything in the motherfucking world. <laughs> Just don't lie to me, because once you lie to me, it takes the ability for me to have my own opinion. Mm -hmm. So now I'm forced with an opinion that I don't want because you never gave me the ability to understand what was going on. God damn, that boy preaching, man. I don't know what's going on, folks. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome with that. Yeah. What's up with you? Think of what? A deal breaker for me, I'm going to have to piggyback on the loyalty. Um, in, a, in a committed, full-blown relationship, loyalty is definitely a deal breaker for me. Um, as well as, <clears throat> as a woman, a male not being a man. Like, I feel like as a man, as a grown man, I should not have to tell you how to be a man. So if I have to hold your hand or guide you or tell you what to do and how to do it, like it's not gonna work out for me. So a lot of men didn't have a man to lead, so they don't understand how to lead. Not saying they hate, they just don't understand. Some don't want to, some don't understand, and some do. So it's just figuring out which is which. You know what I mean? Yeah, but by by the time you get 35 years old, you should have something figured out. You should know, like, something now. Like, yeah. come on now. I feel that's different. I mean, it's different for me because I feel like, just like picking back up what you said about the man leading, I'm, I come from that single mother. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I looked at a, a lot of aspects of I sang, I seen what my mother go through. You know what I'm saying? As being a single parent, and um, I ain't it wasn't no male figure. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a lot of family, uh, but. I just used to, my mom was the type of mom where even though, you know, she was a single parent, she still never brought another man around me. You know what I'm saying? And she and she she held that for a long time. Like, I never can say I met this guy or I met this guy, you know, but I just seen, I just see how I would want my mama to be treated and I would treat whatever woman the same way. If that makes sense. Okay, sound like you eat ass. I see that. I see that. I see To me, that's a man being a man because Ooh. some people take how they grew up or what they went through growing up and don't make it make their situation the best. Like they basically try to use the trauma as a what's the word Ex- excuse mm-hmm. like and to me that's that's not acceptable because you sitting here you just said you didn't have a male figure growing up but you know how you you would want your mother to be treated or how your mother wants to be treated so that's how you want to treat a lady like so that's why i mm. say it's no excuses because mm. it's not like that's real shit though but sometimes <laughs> women don't know how to listen and then women don't know how to be submissive. Sometimes a lot of women want to be the dominant person in their relationship. So that's why a lot of relationships don't work. I can't really agree with that though because not all. Some. some women don't have some women they never had that guidance as to a woman teaching them how they supposed to be as a lady to a man. True. Mm. Because a lot of a lot of women emulate their mothers Mm -hmm. and they emulate them the way like if your mama was like had multiple guys around then you following that you got multiple guys around Mm -hmm. if your mama had a man nine times ten you gonna end up with a man you know what i'm saying you see so it's just like yeah like if we don't break that curse of that cycle it's gonna be the same shit repeated 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 over and over and over and over and over like some some somehow some way we gotta break that shit. Yeah, it, it, I, to me, what I've seen as the years of you know when I was younger and the years of now that I'm being a little bit older and still looking down as people younger. Um, a lot of the females nowadays, they mamas be like they best friends. Mm-hmm. So I see a lot of that. Yeah, and you know, back when we was younger, it wasn't like that. You know, it wasn't no you. You my child. You always knew my child. So even when you was twenty one, you was still in the same mindset as if you was ten because that's my mama. Mm-hmm. But now you got a lot of females that curse around their mama. They fight their mama. You know, it ain't that respect factor no more. So a lot of them don't know as opposed to how to treat their man. So. It just, it's a, just it's triple effect, I feel like. Piggybacking off what you said, how a lot of females these days or this generation, whatever, they are, they want to be the dominant, you know, person. They don't really know how to be submissive. But in my opinion, like, if you have a real man that's being a man and he's doing what he's supposed to be doing, it's easy, easy to submit. Like, it's really, it comes naturally. Like, it's it ain't nothing you really have to think about so that just goes back to me saying like I feel like if 90% of men were being men and doing what men supposed to do then it will allow the females to just it will be natural like but in society what what's going on these days like the men are not men and so the women feel like they have to be the man in a relationship like it's just I totally agree with you. Cause yeah. these, That's unfortunate. Like, I ain't knocking nobody, but I'm not putting on a purse. That's just not mm-hmm. my thing. Never have. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> I can't speak for nobody else. That they, they don't look right on me. Mm-hmm. Now to say that man or that woman, you know, that man, or, yeah, <laughs> you know, he may have bad my little name, but on me it don't. I, that ain't my thing. I don't wear jewelry. That ain't my thing. I wear watches because <laughs> I know it's time me to get the fuck out of certain shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for real, like this be one hundred. You know what I'm saying? But piggybacking off something, 
you said a man, right? Mm -hmm. And you said young generation. So to speak on that is to say this. The young, the young, why do young women like older men? Like what, from a young woman's perspective, <laughs> like just like break it down, like. I is I it? Know too, cause yeah. I know some women is that's dating men is my age, but they date men that that's, that's the same age they daddy. I don't, I, don't, I want to know what it, what is it. See, I feel like dating that old to where <laughs> yo yo your significant other is your parents' age. Like that's a stretch. That's just too too far. But mm. me speaking for myself, cause I like older men. <laughs> um, I just feel like. The people in my generation, like they are not mentally there, the, the dudes, like they're not mentally there. And me personally, I'm very advanced for my age. So I want to date someone who is mentally on the same level as me. Like I want to date someone that I can learn from. Like I want you to be able to teach me things that these young dudes can't teach. Like my mama always told me men are five years younger than what their ages really are so me being the age that i'm that i am me dating somebody i'm 25 okay me dating somebody my age this be like i'm dating a 19 20 year old like I feel it. no i i got a lot going for myself and dating somebody that's 25 they're they don't have nothing to offer like they just it ain't it so mm -hmm. You wanna that that's me speaking from my perspective. A lot of females though they date older men for the benefits, regardless if they're getting benefits or not. They feel like older men have more to Sugar offer. Daddy. So you know that that plays a part, but overall like the, the the dudes that the younger dudes they just they they mental they mindset just not there at all. So that's why we date older. Uh, I, I've dated some young women before. That shit is stressful. Yeah. I ain't got the motherfucking time to figure out what the fuck is wrong with you. <laughs> Just say, fucking say it. Leave it alone. Like, uh, what? Nothing. Bro, <laughs> probably better play with you, man. Just say what this shit is or you're going to be bad forever. So y'all like y younger? Do y'all like younger? Do y'all yeah. prefer younger or do y'all prefer Yeah, because I don't want nobody over 30. I don't want no old ho, man. I don't want that. I'm not. Oh, the up, thing man. about it is, like what he said, is like, um, you know, that's that's one of the things about uh, pros and cons, because, you know, dating younger women, like he said, um, instead of just coming out and just saying what's, what's up or, you know, especially if like if you don't know that person, like you, as as years go on, you know that person. You know when you know something is on their mind, or you know, you know. But my thing is like at the age it is now, like like you said, you gotta come out with it. Like you gotta let it be known. Don't mm -hmm. don't hold stuff in and, and and you know try to bring it up later or when an argument come out or like come on, let me know now. What's up? And I've learned that from dating older guys. Like, of course, me being my age, I still have immature ways. But me dating older, I've learned that, like, all that childish, kitty, not speaking on how you feel, like, that don't get you nowhere. You like, could. Yeah, so I've definitely learned that dealing with older men. You just got to put it on the table. Communication Regardless. is key. Communication can solve so many things. Mm -hmm. See, people listen to respond instead of listening to understand. Mm -hmm. I listen to understand because I'm going to understand you're going to feed me some bullshit and I'm going to feed it right back to you the same way but better. But it's then, real. Y'all, like you asked why do, why do younger women like older Men, why do young, why do older men like younger women? Like, cause from my, from from the stuff that I hear, like be sitting up, man. Like the, things I, the things that I hear, like older men like younger women, basically to try to take advantage of them or like to grow um, them mm -mm. to a certain extent. No, like, some men, <laughs> no, no. Honestly, it's some men that actually do that, oh, yeah. and then there's up. some men that like the woman but they understand the woman and know what she can become they try to help her become that woman you see what I'm saying like but some do just be like 
trying to be on some bullshit, and, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it's some that really like them for who they are, you know what I mean? Or you'll, or you'll have, <laughs> like, okay, some older women. Some older women, now this is different. Some older women that, that have been raised the old school way, they get stuck in the old school way. So it's like a lot of like times have changed and different things or what people like. And a lot of older women, they just be like, that ain't me, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And then when that guy meet that young one, and that young one be like, I'm with whatever, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And they, they, showing, you, they showing you new uh-huh. elements of stuff. Let's go jump off the bridge. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm it. like, you know, I'm like, what, you wanna do what? Oh, that sounds fun. And, you know, I, to this day, man, I got so a co-worker. Like- I got a co-worker. Hey, we ain't telling nobody now. <laughs> no, 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 I got a co-worker. No, it ain't, it ain't nothing like that. Okay. I got a co-worker that, she's, she's older, but she was telling, you know, she was talking about her aspect of her relationship, and she was like, one thing she don't do is she don't do oral sex on men. And I'm like... What? You know what I'm saying? Like, you at the age, but then, like you say, you got that young girls. Pull it out. Right now. <laughs> I prefer, <laughs> believe. Not pull it out right now. I prefer. I don't really care for head. I don't either. I'm like, I, don't, I ain't got it. I mean, it's cool, but I want to get in there. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to enjoy myself. Yeah. Well, <laughs> one thing about me is I want to I want to please you. And I want to get to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's go on and get to it. See, so, like the more the more you please her, the more like she's receptive, open to you. Like it's like you taking your time and your energy, you hitting the spots, you hitting mm-hmm. everything you supposed to hit. So now she's this motherfucker like, who the fuck sent you? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you come in, you you know what I'm saying? Just an all around good motherfucker. It's like. What is this nigga? <laughs> you know what I'm All saying? those aspects play together. Yeah. You know, he 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 doing this, he doing that. Coming from the sugar daddy aspect, and then you moving <laughs> over, <laughs> and you get into you know, you get into you I, giving him. Wait a minute, sugar. how the slots go? Yeah. Sugar daddy, yeah. fat daddy, yeah. daddy, mm-hmm. baby daddy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Then you go to bank. It's gonna, it's gonna transition. You know? yeah. So sugar daddy is the is the top one. That's the best one to have. Well, sugar daddy, I depends on the difference of your sugar daddy. Some women want a sugar daddy for the money, and then some women want a sugar daddy for like the daddy experience. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like it's so you got to figure out who is who. Which, which like, role do you play? Yeah, like which one you are you? Like you gonna want them for the money, or do you want them for the experience of like life and just guidance and stuff like that? So it, you got yeah, different, got yeah, different spectrum on them. So I'll tell you, how, you ain't saying too many words. Like what's I've up? been talking. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah. yeah. What you like? What, what, what you like? What, I mean, talk to you. what you like. What's what's your? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What's your thing? So me being where I am today in life, um, I like older. I date older men. Um, you know, I don't date people my age, 30 and up for me. But um, I just really, when I'm dating a guy or if I'm searching for a guy, like I pretty much just look, for, like I said, piggybacking on what I said before, like I just want you to be able to lead. Like I, I want to naturally be able to submit and fall into my soft girl era. Like <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that's what that's where I am today. Like it's, I've been handling business and doing things on my own for a very long time. So where I am today, I'm I'm ready for a man to be a man. That don't necessarily mean taking care of me, paying all my bills, but I want to look to you for advice. I want you to be my go-to. Like I just want you to lead, provide, and protect. Like two as minds, a man, as a man, Together. yeah. Like as a man should. That's that's all. If you can be a man and do what a man's supposed to do, I'm gonna work with you on whatever other flaws you got going on. Are you willing to understand if? Things can't go your way. 
in certain situations, certain times. Yeah, I'm kind of experienced, so I've been through enough to like work with a person. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you got the foundation and you have the stability, like I can work with you all in certain circumstances. Like, I ain't just gonna be like, oh, it's not going my way, so fuck you. Like, that ain't that's not me. That's not where I'm at. I, I'll work with you, but you have to be doing what I need you to do, cause I'ma be a woman all day long. I know how to be a woman. I know how to submit. So I need you to play your part. I'ma play mine, and we gon' everything gonna be copacetic. We're going to be good. So what do you need him to do? Oh, my God. No, I mean, as far as, no, I understand what you're saying, but, like, you saying, like, Lee, you saying, like, but, you know what I mean? Like, she want me to take see, action. The, the reason yeah, I say this. Like, I don't know what the, 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 the reason I say this is because women are simple, but they're complex. Yeah. Complicated, I'm sorry. Yeah. But men are complicated, but simple. But, see, it's like, you ask a man, what you want? Something to eat and my feet rub. Mm -hmm. You give him something to eat, you rub his feet, he's gonna love you forever because you listen to actually what he said. Mm -hmm. So then with women, you know, I want flowers. Okay, you bring the flowers. I want the red flowers. Okay, you bring the red flowers. <laughs> I want the red flower with the white thing in the middle. Okay, you go get the red flower with the white thing in the middle. I want them to be spring. Hey man, listen, <laughs> you just said you like flowers. Like, what is it? That's why I asked, what did you want him to do? Like, get specific with it. Like, you want massages, you want foot rubs, you want trips, you want like. I want under everything. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want it all because I feel like I'm worthy of getting the full experience like I can't I could sit here and name everything I want and we could be all day but it's just like I just need you to play your part like I like dates I like flowers I like quality time I like foot massages I like I want you to be able to be my person like I want to be able to if I'm having a bad day or if something going wrong in my day, I'm, I want to be like, I'm going to call my man and he's going to figure it out for me. Like, period. That's, that's all it is. Are you too. calling him to help him figure it out too, though? Yeah, yeah. we need to be each other go-to. Because mm -hmm. like I said, if you play your part, I'm going to play my part. But it's hard for women to play their part when they have to be the man and a woman in the relationship. Like, You know, I'm going to tell you one thing why a lot of relationships don't work out. Basically, it's like, I just lost the fucking train of thought. <laughs> because, this is what I was saying, I'm sorry, let's get it back. What I'm saying is, like, a man is not going to be with a woman because who they are or they sales, right? So what I mean by that is, if she comes in the wrong bay, let me tell you about my best friend. And get the spitting right. So you and your mind, you listening, but I'm not telling her shit. Because you just told me your best friend shit. So why would I tell you anything about me? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because as soon as something go wrong, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, expose their friend business. So he know at some point in time, if they don't work out, she's going to expose his business. And he'd be like, I'm cool. I'm just hit you a few times, whatever, and get up out of there. You know what I'm but saying? But what like, if she don't got other friends? Boy, first let me say this. I'm not <laughs> vouching for the situation. But what if she don't have other friends and she just want to vent to her man or whatever? Like, I'm just curious. I mean, that's, a, that's a sticky one because, like, if you telling somebody else's deep, dark secrets, what... What in the world makes you think you won't tell mine? You know what I'm saying? Like that's the thing, but a lot of a grade. lot of men allow it. You gotta take it to the grave. Yeah, like some stuff you you know, I got secrets that that it never come out. I'm taking them all to the grave. <laughs> like they forever, like forever, like it's just what it is. I don't do that. Like I don't tell nobody business. I can give a fuck less what that person doing. Mm -hmm. I seen an accident on the highway. You know what I did? I kept going. Hey, got nothing to do with me. I keep fuck up fuck going. Because once you get distracted in life, you off course. Mm -hmm. So you just keep focused and keep going. Now see, I've learned that with experience too. Like it's not healthy and good to like vent to your man about female problems like 
Okay, yeah, if you know he asks and you tell him a little something, but as far as like you said, spilling the whole tea, all the details, like that's what you have girlfriends for. Like you really not supposed to bring that to the bedroom or bring that to the house because that can also be negative energy. Like we don't want nobody else negative energy or what they got going on in our household because that it really ain't got nothing to do with us. Like yeah, when 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 females uh, do do stuff like that, you do pick up on what type of person that person is when you sitting there telling me your partner's, you know, secrets that, you know, you just can't hold in. So when you hang around them, you know what I'm saying, whatever secrets that you telling me about that person, I'ma feel I can feel like sometimes you might be out there doing what that person is doing or, mm -hmm. you know, just like he said, he got to the aspect about, you know, you telling I'm telling you my secrets, um, do I really know that you really gonna take my secrets to the grave with with, with you? Some people do, some people don't. They, but it's up right. to it's us, person. cause we be knowing, but we figure we can change that person. Like if you know you met that person, you knew they was telling everybody business. Mm -hmm. What in the world think they won't tell you? Yeah, see, I, I ain't. Gonna <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if you if we cool and you telling me this is just friend wise, like if my one of my close friends telling me one of their close friends' personal business, I'm not telling you nothing because, like you said, what? How do I know you you not finna sit up and gossip about my deepest darkest secrets or when I'm going through something you ain't finna tell my business to them? Like, no. Nah. You just, yeah, I mean, just, just telling you how it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we go take a five minute break. All right, nigga, I'm in the ball talking yeah, shit. Before you drop this, <laughs> I'm cold though. You hear me? I'm the goat. When it comes to this shit called life, I am the motherfucking goat. Cause I live life every day, every second. Cause you don't know how much time you got left yeah, in the world. I got more money than I got time. <laughs> I know, I look at my account and see what's in that motherfucker, but I don't know, I'm gonna be able to spend it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna live this motherfucking life, man. I'm gonna be smart about it, but I'm gonna live this motherfucking life of mine. You know what I'm saying? You can't wish and hope and think, you just gotta live, you gotta go, you gotta enjoy life. You only get one. Welcome back to the Cooking Truth Podcast. So, check this out. Like, self worth. What is, like, what is your self worth? Like, Give me your definition of self-worth. Self-worth to yourself? Yeah, like, you know, like, what you feel like, okay, self-worth, like, for me, is like, I know what I'm going to allow or I'm not going to allow. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't finna play with me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna play with you. You see what I'm saying? Like, we gonna be rock, we gonna rock, we gonna be cool, we gonna be cool, let's have some fun, let's have a good time, but don't motherfucking lie to me. I feel like, like that's my self work. Cause my, once you lie, you you make me feel like a certain way. You see what I'm saying? So I just don't want that. But I can accept anything in the world. <laughs> There's no lie to me. But that's my self work. That's for me. Like so, everybody is different. Mine will be back on the loyalty. Um, I, I want you to me. I want I want to see that I want to see that loyalty to me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna put back the same. What what you put into me is what I'm gonna put back into you. Reciprocate energy. Mm-hmm. So, um, my self wealth be be um, loyalty. Yes, ma'am. So oh, self worth for me. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. I would just say knowing who you are as a person, piggybacking off what you said, like knowing what you're going to tolerate, what you're going to deal with, and what you're not. Like, basically, you having self worth is also you having non negotiable. So, if you dating somebody, like, you knowing your self worth and who you are as a person, you're going to go into this situation knowing, like, what I'm not tolerating out the gate, period, point blank. So yeah, once you know who you are and how you coming in the relationship, friendship, whatever, you just not you're not gonna tolerate anything. Um, self worth is all about knowing who you are, knowing yeah. knowing knowing your values, knowing your 
your aspects in life where you want to be like long as you know who you are as a person and long as you believe in yourself and love yourself you got self worth you're not gonna let nobody play with you yeah and that's how but that, that's how it should be and us as people we allow certain things to happen because we got like a certain love or infatuation with a person but even with that like we'll let certain things go and we don't but it's also what we allow so I mean it's a it's all about really it's fun. a give and take like it's certain shit you can't play with me about <laughs> like yeah yeah, yeah you don't know how to go but it's certain shit I ain't tripping you know what I'm saying like I'm the type of person that I work on bonds. You see what I'm saying? The relationship shit, that's too much fucking work. That I means I got to care for you every day and I don't want to because even though you're dealing with a person, you get tired of that person. Married, long-term relationship, whatever. Like, you want a day to breathe. We seven days in a week. Four of them, I'm going to talk to you. I tell you I love you. Day five, don't you fucking text me. <laughs> day six, hey, how you doing? Just check it in. Have a good day. Boom. Day seven, babe, I miss you. What you doing? I think I need to see you. You know what I'm saying? But day five, leave me the fuck alone. <laughs> don't, don't, nothing. Hold that shit to day six. I enjoy my personal <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So this sounds like a relationship is not for you. No, nah, uh-huh. but you know what? Titles are so... So misunderstanding. So I think a bond is something that's like a bond. Like we gotta understand that like this is what it is. This is where it's gonna go. Like we gonna rock. We gonna rock. We ain't. We ain't cool. What you got going on on the right ain't got nothing to do with me on the left. What I got going on on the left ain't got nothing to do with me on the right. You know what I'm saying? So that's just like a bond, but it's like it's a respect thing as well. Like, I'm not going to disrespect you whether you're in front of me or not around me. That is how I am. Like, that's just me. I can't speak for nobody else but me. So I'm going to, when you're away from me, I'm going to love you the same way I love you when you're with me. Like, it ain't nothing going to change. You know what I mean? But I know that you got bullshit going on. Mm. So I'm going to let you enjoy your bullshit. Mm -hmm. And then if it is what it is, it is what it's going to be. Just like females know, uh, we as men, we know too. Sometimes, you know, we let let certain things slide and let you do what you're going to do. You know what I'm saying? Then it's going to come. Sometimes it comes to that aspect of work. You got me fucked up. Now I got to address it. I'm only going to take so much. I can I can do a relationship to answer your question because I'm built for one woman. Like too many women, it's too many personalities. I don't be giving a fuck <laughs> sometimes. Like leave me alone. I don't. I ain't got time to deal with her. 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 I ain't. Got, I ain't built for that shit. I'm 38. <laughs> like tell me what the fuck it is. Leave me alone sometimes. We gonna have a great time in life. Like we want to go jump off a motherfucking skyscraper. Let's go do it. <laughs> but when we land, I will talk to you the day after that. <laughs> for real, man. Let me correct the situation. It's not a relationship. If you say you wouldn't want to talk to them for a day. But, okay, so relationship is like, you got you, you to care about. Sometimes you don't want to care about that person. I'm not the only person in this room that think that. <laughs> like, someday you'd be like, Man, I'm so sick of this motherfucker. Like, you There's know what I'm saying? There's times like this. Yeah. That comes with a relationship. But do that mean you you go ghost for a day or, like, See? you don't communicate for a day? See? How women don't listen? I just told her everything I said, <laughs> and she heard what she wanted to hear. Women do not listen. I just uh, told her, day five. If you, day five is day, that space. You yeah, then give me my day because it's gonna be a day where you don't want to be talked to. I'm sick of this motherfucking nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? So I gotta respect it. Just let me know what day that is. That way I won't reach out. Hopefully they coincide and both of day fives. But we shall see. You know what I'm saying? It's like me. I um, I'm an only child, so um, I grew up a loner. You know, not having a big family, not having a lot of cousins, not having a lot of company. So I've grew to learn, you know, you know, time at times you do have to make that time, you know what I'm saying? And 
sometimes they have to let you know, like like you say with that day five, let me get that. Let me get mm -hmm. that to myself. Let me let me recuperate myself. My I usually like my day is usually like Sundays. Day five for women, if you don't talk to her, oh, she man. automatically has assumed you're with another bitch. Mm -hmm. You out here <laughs> cheating and you out here you ain't shit. You're mad, you why you not texting me back? No motherfucker, this is emergency. So you're really not gonna text me back? Oh you fucking serious? I hope you fucking die, bitch. Yep. I love you. Why are you not talking to me? <laughs> I mean, as long as you communicate, I feel like it'll be fine. Like. But you would tell them, though. Sometimes you would tell them, like, you got to pick up on certain cues. And if I'm telling you, like, you know, today's Sunday, this is my football day. You know I'm going to be in the element of watching multiple games on Sunday. That's a, a woman should pick up on that cue as if, like, let me give him his space that day. You know, yeah, you can shoot me a text here and there and there. I'm going to text you, but... Don't expect me to sit on FaceTime all day and don't expect me to sit on the phone and talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, but as a grown man, I don't want you to be on FaceTime with me all day anyway because you got too much time for me. Like, not too much time for me, but yeah. you have too much time on your hands if you can sit on FaceTime with me all day. Well, I'm just talking about the day. What if he miss you? If he missed me, okay, yeah, okay, we, we were talking about one day, day five, we were talking about just one day, okay, yeah, but I'm more so thinking like on a, on a every day or more, nine times out of ten, like you, if you got three or four days out the week to sit on FaceTime with me all day, like, I ain't digging it, I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. I ain't digging it. That like, it. I can sit, like, I'm so big, like, oh. Um, Energy and spirit wise, like now, I ain't gonna lie, the last year, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm big on energy and spirit, so I know when your shit ain't right. So, what I'm gonna do is not fuck with you. Like, I can sense it through a phone that something not right with you, just on how you text. I can't speak for everybody, speak for me. I can sense how you text me that something's on your mind, if you're having a good day or a bad day. So, I'll be like, what's going on? Nothing chilling. Now I say it again. <sighs> and the next thing you know, she explained to you everything that just happened that made her day was fucking terrible. And now she feels better because she got that shit out. See? I listen. I shut the fuck <laughs> up and I listen. Yeah. But there's only one me. Females don't know how to listen. I can say that. I Women can vouch for that. Women don't listen, I promise you. They some do. Them the ones who get married, and then some don't. Them the ones who say, "Pretty me, niggas ain't shit." <laughs> some women they listen when it's entertaining to them, or it's uh, listen when they it's, want to. It's, 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 it's information, informational wise to them. Um, Beneficial. If I'm talking to a woman, I'm like, man, you know, gotta get this new alternator on the car. Or I gotta do this, this, and that. They really don't want to hear that. You know what I'm saying? Because you you is you you can sense on their feedback. They ain't like, oh, uh, they ain't saying like, what you need me to do, or uh, you uh, you need me to go to the parts store, or what kind of alternator, what kind of car, you know? That's that that gives me feedback that you care. But if you just sit there and you just like, you know what I'm saying, like on your phone, like, yeah, ah, yeah, hi, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. Here, watch this. <laughs> when you telling me your best friend business, you want me to be all eyes, ears, and attention and everything. Why are you not listening? Mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. I'm listening and understanding. I'm not telling you shit after this conversation. Right. Right. <laughs> yep. For real. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you got it. As a man, it's hard to balance everything. Because we got the weight of the world on our shoulders. Some men can carry it, some can't. Like being a black man anyway. So what I mean by That's that right. is to say is like, tell us what you really want. Because I don't have time to guess and figure out why you over here stumping and mad, huffing and puffing. Tell me what the fuck's going on. Because I got to worry about this shit over here, that shit there, the shit behind me, this shit in front of me. Like... Females don't, they don't, they don't, a lot of females don't understand um, at times um, the weight on our shoulders that we just have, with, especially like being a black man, because one thing about black females, they almost, they, they already, 
get her on a hella pedestal because they are female. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to black men, we get it a little bit harder because a lot of people they look they look down on us, and we have to prove ourselves as we go on. And, and we still holding their weight. You know what I'm saying? And it, it can be rough at times. You know what? How our society treats us is like the nigga who work a job is the broke nigga. Mm-hmm. But the nigga who scamming mm-hmm. and doing other shit you supposed to be doing. Them niggas that's, that's gonna change your life, change the world. Just, it's a nigga that's like, you can tell if he goes to work, he's dedicating himself to something. He's got a goal for something. He got structure on something. Not saying those other guys don't. Some they just don't know when to leave. Sometimes it get good, and then sometimes it get wicked. But back to that is, men who work nine to fives are no longer valued. Like a man who's got the quick cash, the quick knot. You know what I'm saying? Life. Yeah, like fast life. Like so, I want to touch on that because that bothers me. <laughs> like it grinds my gears. <laughs> like why is that though? Why are nine to five men not valued? Yeah. Um, see, I'm a little different. Like, I feel like I like structure. Like, I want you to, I want you to get up every day and at a certain time or around a certain time and and be doing something productive or useful. Like, I don't want you to be oh just because you hustling or you doing whatever you doing. You get up when you want to. You move when you want to. Like. I, I'm a female. I'm built off structure. I grew up off structure. Like I need, I need stability. I need something set in stone. I need, like I, I cannot do the willy nilly all over the place. So I can't really speak on why females like they don't value nine to fives. I honestly think it's kind of like a young mindset because. In reality, when you dealing with a man that's in the streets and hustling and he don't really have a guaranteed income, it's just like, what are you going to do if everything goes left? And and a lot of females female these days, care. especially my age, like they don't have nothing going for themselves. So it's like they depending strictly on this man. If this man pass away or go to jail today, they asked out. They ain't got nothing. They they can't those do who, nothing. Like those are ones they just move to the next because they they push on you to live that fast life aspect. And if you sit there and you you pick up on that as a man, and you see that that's she likes that. She she's not saying hey, look, won't you take this type of uh, some of that money and do this or. She the one that's saying, hey, give me that 10000 to go buy this bag. Or instead of saying, hey, take that 10000 and won't you buy that apartment building? You know what I'm saying? And they just, those are the ones that just, when you gone, they move on to the next. And as a man, you have to pick up on that because mm-hmm. you want that, a man, you know what I'm saying? Because that also that guy can, he can like that, la- that fast life and want to keep up with the celebrities and he just want to keep up with that, but not looking at the aspect of a lot of those guys behind the scenes. They have other things going on to to support them, as opposed to they just not living that fast life. But see, when when dudes in the streets, when dudes in the streets get are in relationships or dealings with those type of females, like I honestly I blame them because just how it's all all men are not out here fucked up, it's all females are not messed up as well. So mm-hmm. you have to you have to use your own judgment. Like you could tell from the first couple of dates, really even the first date when you dealing with a person or the first link, whatever what type of person or woman or man this this specific person is. So if you decide to go along with a female that you clearly see only after your money she only want what you got to offer she don't care about your well-being that's your fault mm-hmm. 
Like this, this is men in the in the fast lifestyle. They want women in the fast lifestyle. And if they save or if they trying to invest their money in, into some real life stuff, they stuck in the fast mental. So they want the biggest big booty girl that's out there that don't give a fuck about nothing. But I like little booty. Little booty is not over her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I blame. I I feel like it, it be they, their fault. Uh, they try to go after what everybody else wants. Yeah, they Let's looking say, out at, on social it. media. They see all these big booty girls. They see the rappers. They dealing with the big booty girls. So they feel like when you get money, that's automatically what you're supposed to have. And the girls, I'm not gonna lie. I hate to be, ha have this stereotype or to put this out there, but majority of the women that got BBLs, they're caught in the lifestyle, the mm -hmm. industry. So. That's what the men in the streets want, so that's what they get. You, you're not gonna get a female that really genuinely give a fuck about you, and you chasing about. I mean, you chasing after all the females that's stuck in the industry lifestyle. Like, yeah, you have you have very few women that um that have taken the aspect of getting on that table to change their body just because it's, it's what they want, as opposed to what somebody else wants. Um, which it just goes back to what you in it for, you know what I'm saying? Am I getting this body to give me a guy that live this fast life? Or am I getting this body because this is what I want? Or this is what my man want. Now if your man want that, you know, that's 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 cool. That's 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 very acceptable. That goes back to me to like self worth, right? So what I mean by Excuse that me. is it's like if you're not happy with yourself, how you gonna make somebody else happy? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like if you wanna go get your body done, you're not happy with your body. You see what I'm saying? You wanna go get this, get that, like some people do it and that's no knock to anybody that do it like to make them feel better, but some people do it to impress somebody who don't know who don't care. To let you know this is what I'm doing just like everybody else who don't even give a fuck. And see, that's how my I feel. personal opinion. Like, I feel like 90%, like, don't get me wrong, it's some females that go and do what they got to do to their body for Should themselves. Like, but I feel like it's probably only 10 to 20%. Everybody else, they're going out there to do that to get a certain type of nigga. Like, and it's just what it is. And I don't get me wrong, I don't, that's to each its own. I don't care about that. That's whatever you want to do, that's on you, that ain't my business. But in reality, like, females are out here doing that to get a certain type of nigga. Like they know the, I'ma say the popping, the get money niggas that's on the scene, that's what they like. So they're going to go out there to get them a certain type of man. And that's just yeah, reality. So I'm get tricked. But see that aspect, man, there you uh, go. Say, say that shit. They see that guy and they feel like, oh, that look, that image, and they see him like, oh, he look like he got it, but a lot of them don't have it. And I've learned that too. Like <laughs> the men that really be out here having motion and and that's really got something going for themselves, they're not flashy. Like mm -hmm. they don't, they not wearing all these chains, they ain't all this jewelry, they ain't <laughs> boasting and bragging. Like they really be on some humble, low key about they family stuff. Like regardless if they got their own family or they taking care of their their family that they grew up with. But I've learned that like. The real men that's out here getting to real money, they're not. You ain't gonna know. Like you can look at you can you can look at two dudes, and this man have on a, a jogging suit from Walmart or Target, and this man have on all this designer and these chains mm -hmm. and stuff. And I guarantee you, this man right here is, is ain't got nothing to offer. Nothing <laughs> like it look good though. Nothing. But that's just like with us, we know. We see a bad motherfucker, nice little ass chick, and you know she ain't got nothing going on, and you know if you finna slide in here, this would be a motherfucking problem. We do it too, women do it, everybody do it. Just trust your inner self. Your inner self is never gonna tell you nothing wrong. The intuition of motherfucker. Man, like a motherfucker. <laughs> intuition and soul ties. Soul ties is dangerous. That shit is ugly, boy. <laughs> For real. Because it's like, you know when the person 
it's like you know when they hurting, you know when they miss you, you know like you know when they are even, when they spirit, and they energy off. But you mad at the motherfucker? But it's like I fucking love her dirty ass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then it's like I miss this nigga. Like I love this nigga. Like. So it's yeah, soul time is a whole nother topic. We we touch on that shit. But what's on the playlist right now? Well me, I'll speak first. Go ahead. See, I like I like slow music. I'm not really a rap music type of girl, but on my playlist right now, as of recently, I've been listening to a lot of Brent Fayez, Sunder, Friday. Like, I'm a old school type of girl. I like if if I'm in the house chilling, I cut it on Pandora and cut on like Danielle Jones Radio or Joe Radio or you know what I'm saying, something like that. But if I'm in the car, I'm gonna cut it on Friday. Or, like I said, Brent Fires. Like, I like music that kind of touches you. It makes you feel good. I don't like all that rah rah rapping. You don't like Sexy Red? Sexy Red, cool if I'm in the club. Like, if I'm in the club drunk and I'm, I'm with my girls, like, yeah, I want to hear some Sexy Red. But if I'm in the crib chilling or I'm in a car with my baby or something or I'm just on some chill shit, I don't want to hear no sexy red, no little dark, no big boogie, like, nah. You want to hear some sexy red? Yeah, I love sexy red, man. <laughs> no, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not getting in my car and cutting out sexy red. I fuck with sexy red. She, she putting on for the loo. I give her all her props. But I want to hear that when I'm getting drunk and I finna go to the club with the Her ghetto ass cool. <laughs> for real. Yeah. Um... I have my times, you know what I'm saying? It's just depending on what day of the week it is sometimes, you know, because sometimes I get in my mode and I want to hear my, uh, I like to listen to Southern Blues, uh, King George, uh, Big Pokey Bear, all them type. And then, <laughs> you know, I have my times where I want to hear my Big Boogie. I want to hear my Sexy Red or the next two times. It just depends on sometimes the day of the week or the mode I'm in, you know. So, but music plays a, a big part in life. A lot of people don't look at it as that, you know, just like the same aspect. A lot of people, they try to live their life off music, which I'm not saying, you know, to each own zone, but music plays a part in situations you're going through because there's a lot of times when you're going through something you don't want to hurt people you don't want to um talk to nobody and the only thing that gets you through it is that music Mm -hmm. yeah most definitely Mm -hmm. and i kind of feel like that's why i like to listen to slower music because i'm in a more calm i'm in i'm in a more calm space in my life like just chill vibe and like I don't want to hear that wah wah right now. I just want to hear some music that's gonna make me feel good, gonna make me have a good day. I wake up in the morning, I might listen to some gospel music. Like <laughs> I want to hear some cool, calm, and collective music. Unless I'm going to the club. Other than that, <laughs> I just I need something that's gonna ease my mind a little bit. My place is to fuck you around, cause it's, it go from here to there to there to here to there. So it's everywhere. So like what I'm listening to right now, Don Trip, Big Walk Dog, Little oh, Baby. That's a big walk dog, little baby. Uh Killer Mike. Man, that nigga can rap. That nigga can rap, man. Uh me and I got shit. I got some Monica in there. Erica Badu. Oh, L Boogie Lauren Hill. I, mm-hmm. I was in my I, groove I before I got here, man. What? Yeah, give, give me L Boogie. I don't give a fuck she don't show up to shows. I just like that music. <laughs> but yeah, Erica Badu, CeeLo. Like my shit all over the place. Like I listen to different shit. Drake and J. Cole, new yeah, shit. Yeah. Man, like I listen to a lot of different shit. Uh I don't wanna fuck her name of it, I know it, yeah. Cash Page or something. Something like that. Like a Neo Soul artist. She got some good shit. Like So what about Tim's? You like Tim's? Who was Tim's? She's saying, this is the piece that you catch out for. I'm here, I, I like those type of songs. I just don't be knowing who. I don't know who they name. Yeah, I don't know who they are. That's It'll come on, and I ain't, it ain't like it's something I turn off, but I just don't be knowing a lot of them people's names. Yeah, she got some good music. 
Like, I, it'll fuck, like, if I turn my shit on, I got Amy Winehouse in my playlist. Like, people be like, what? Yeah, I listen to Amy Winehouse. It just depends, like, my, my spirit in my phone would be, like, crazy, because I can feel a certain way. I get in the truck, play the music, and it feel exactly how I'm feeling. I just be rolling like, damn, then it's like, some days I ride in complete silence, like, get my thoughts together, get my mental together, like, you need like a mental day just to just decompose, de-release everything, so, certain days, which is be my day five in the bond, relationship, <laughs> situation, whatever it is, Leave me the fuck alone. I want to be with my thoughts. I want to just be me, my thoughts, and my bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I just, that's what I want. Like, I'm cool with everything else because if a woman can provide that, I can be the greatest thing in the world to her. I will put her on a pedestal she's never seen before. Like, it's crazy. Like, I rub feet. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I give massages, great massages. You know what I mean? Like, I care about how you really feeling. Like, I care about what's on your mind. Like, I care about your future. Like, I really do these things. Not just to say it, to do this, really, because I really give a fuck. Now, <laughs> once you play with me, and I'm going to stop giving a fuck, and then it'll be no fucks to give. At all. But Come I'm on. a great guy, and I don't do things like that. But do not fucking play with me. <laughs> but... To say that is to say this, like, I enjoy a person's company, they time, they space, they mental aspect. I want to make sure that person is the best version of themselves at all times. So I want to take the flaws that person may have and make them their strengths. You see what I'm saying? So now, when you walk in the world, you're actually flawless. You see what I'm saying? So that's how... I am, but I went somewhere else, but let's get back to it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that's what my playlist, like, I just got different shit. I be in different moods, nothing crazy, because I love life. Like, life right now to me is like I'm taking off like a rocket ship. Like, I just got to keep the dedication, the preparation, the focus, the determination, to keep going, you see what I'm saying? It's gonna be distractions in, in, in the, it's gonna be distractions in the world, but as long as you stay focused, stay on your path, you'll be pretty good. So I'm gonna ask you guys a question, and I wanna understand. If it's two people in the world that can make you up, it could be anybody you want, anybody. And give me the definition of why you chose those two. You said if they can work. They can make up you. Like, two people that can make up Big Coop. Right? So, uh, for me, for instance, I started off, do you understand what I'm saying? For me, it's John Witt and Michael Myers. Okay. Right? So, people say, why Michael Myers? Like, what? That's crazy. No. is he was focused on killing his sister. That's it. He didn't care what was in his path. He was going to do what he had to do. Like, if he got to go to the left, he going to step left and then come on back on the path. So what I mean by that is the focus that he had, the determination to do what the fuck he had to do. So that's what I take from him. As far as from John Wick, it's like, always be who you are. Like, you can love, but at the same time, you can still be who you are. And you can walk this earth and be the most deadliest motherfucker moving. You know what I mean? So that's why I say John Wick. And Michael Myers, focus, determination, structure. You know what I mean? Um. <laughs> yeah. I just fucked you up, didn't I? <laughs> I just fucked you up, didn't I? Um, oh, yeah. For me, um, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of these years in my life that have went past, and it's two, it's two people that. I um I honestly feel like I could compare to and that make me one would be um be small, you know what I'm saying? I'll, baby, baby. I'll, I'll, I'll do my life, you know what I'm saying? I've always been the big guy that you know I'm gonna I'm gonna give you something to look at. 
And that's how Biggie was. Biggie was a person that he going to give you something to look at. He going to enter the room. He going to be fresh to death. You know what I'm saying? He's a hustler. And my second person would be 8-Ball. 8-Ball has those same elements as the fact of Biggie. But he was he's a very cool, mellow person. Like... I stay out my way. I don't bother you. You know what I'm saying? I'm to myself. You know, I just stay out the way. And that's that's one thing about A Ball and his success throughout the years of his career. He just to himself. He stay out the way. You don't never see his name on the headlines or nothing. And to this day, he's still still trending and popping. <laughs> Okay, before I start, I have a question real quick. What's, okay, I was trying to find it on my phone, but I didn't want to be on my phone too much. What is the couple, the crazy couple that people be for Halloween? It's, I think it's the Joker and... Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn, okay, that's my question. So, mine would be, the first one would probably be Beyonce, just because she puts herself on a pedestal, she don't respond to bullshit, she about her money, her family, like strictly business. Like you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get too much out of her. Period. Point blank. She's she strictly about what's important. Nothing, all the bullshit is irrelevant. And the other half, I'm gonna say Harley Quinn. I knew. <laughs> she with the shits. Like she, she not playing no games. Period point like like that's it's, it's half and half like half of me. <laughs> I'm about my business. I'm about what matters, what's important. I'm not entertaining bullshit, but I can also deal with the shit too, and I can be crazy as a motherfucker if you pull that out of me. So has that ever been pulled out of you? For sure. The craziness. Yes. So uh, how crazy did it get? Uh, mm. Well, hmm. <laughs> it ain't no. It's not even that I don't want to answer this more. So how I'm going to answer it? I've been took out of my element before. Um, I ain't going. I'm not going to speak too much on how or what I did, but it, it can get hectic. And this is somebody you like you was involved with. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. But I'm I'm not gonna let nobody that don't matter give me out my current like that. Mm -hmm. We gotta be locked in, soul ties. We gotta have some real shit going on for me to get on some Harley Quinn stuff. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I'm Beyonce. Like I don't care about none of that. Whatever you talking about, what you got going on, they got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. I like that at all. <laughs> People imagine their own business is underrated. Like the world can work so perfectly if people shut the fuck up and mind their own business. What that person doing over there ain't got nothing to do with you over there. Like mind your business. That's why the world is how it is today because people don't gotta mind their business. That's the problem. If everybody mind their business, this would be a wonderful place to be. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. For real. That's, the problem. That's why I stay out the way. That's as the best way should. to be. Yeah. yeah, as you should. And I'm, I'm finna fall off the face of the earth, too. Mm. I'm already mm. off the face, but I'm finna just fall down in the deep hole. Nobody. I appreciate you for showing your wonderful, beautiful face today, then, since you finna fall off this cliff. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But. Thank you for tuning in. You can catch us on YouTube at the Cooking Truth Podcast, TikTok, the Cooking Truth Podcast, Instagram, Snapchat is coming very soon. Thank you to my lovely guest, Big Fowler, <laughs> Big Coop, it's up. and Kai. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate y'all. Like, subscribe. Talk to you later. Good. Thank you.